Hey guys, welcome back to Firestorm Reviews, and today is a part two video from a video that I, well, my earliest videos. It's part two of my Transformers Legacy Standard Cons reviews. Part one was my review of Drag Strip, and here he is. And today we're doing a review of his friend here, Wild Rider. Personally, this is a good mold, I would say, but could have done a little better with, ha with the backpack here. Sure, I'm not somebody who overly hates backpacks, but comparing it to drag strip here, yeah. But eh, it's all right. It's a very good figure. The he looks very G1 accurate in my opinion. And you also have a somewhat changeable back style. You can switch it to however you like. Personally, I like to leave it like this. So yeah. Let's do some quick size comparisons. Here we have them compared to Studio Series Blitz, Voyager Class Blitzwing, who's just a bit too big for the camera. Let's just move back. And here he is compared to Drag Strip again. And here he is, here he is compared to Transformers Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Dropkick, who's gonna dropkick himself out of this video. Along with those two. And here he is compared to Transformers Kingdom Cyclonus. Yeah. And Soundwave, why are you in Megatron's seat? I am here until Megatron gets out of the hospital. Why is he in the hospital? You wait and see, Firestorm. Alright then. And now for the last size comparison. Here we have him compared to Transformers Studio Series number 7 Jazz. So yeah, let's get on to the transformation. And here we go. First, you, oh wait, no. First, you need to do possibility. Yeah, his head can rotate. His arms can move backwards and forwards, but not all the way back because of his backpack. His arms can move out. Ninety degree bend at the elbow. Upper elbow rotation. Hands can do this for the transformation. Waist rotation. Can kick out that far and back that far. And you can have his legs split. Upper leg rotation, 9 degree bend of the elbow, you can fit through that, and also a, a very impressive pivot at the foot. He comes with some Cybertronian blasters, which I don't know who the exact name of, but they look cool. You can give him one or two, and you saw him with two, which makes him very great for posing. And let's put him in some poses. We have him in, here we have him in the pose of pointing and shooting. We have them doing some push-ups in front of Motormaster for some reason. And here we have him doing the superhero land or for him. Wouldn't it technically be the super villain landing? What do you think about that in the comments? Alright, let's just get him into robot mode. I mean to vehicle mode. So first of all you want to take his head here, fold it out with his chest, fold it up, fold that in. Then you'll want to straighten out his arms. Then you push his arms out like this, fold in his hands to the gaps there, then fold his arms backwards like that. Then you connect his feet together, untab this, untab his feet and that, rotate his body 360 degrees, I mean 180 degrees, push this down up, but also, first of all, if you have his backpack displayed like this, you would first fold it together and then fold it in like that. And then you take his windshield and click it in. Then you re-tab in his legs if you're like me and actually untab them one time. Then you fold them up. And there you have him in vehicle mode. Which I don't know how to make of this car. But it's a very nice car and looks very drivable and far. Here's what it looks like on the underside of it. The side, the roof of the Decepticon logo. Screaming very subtle. The other side, the, the back... And the side. So yeah, let's compare it to some of his mates in vehicle mode. Alright, the first one for posability is drop kick. I was like he couldn't drop kick his way out of the video yet. So yeah, here he is compared to Wild Rider. And now we have him compared to his date one of his best mates, and the one who seems to always get revealed first, while drag strip. 
So yeah, now let's compare them to their boss and leader, Motor Master. Yeah, for the Cynicons I have right now, these three look amazing together. Definitely going to get the rest of them once I can. And now let's do the rest of the comparing with the last two on the list, which is Jazz and Cyberverse Shockwave. Here they are. And yeah, that's them in vehicle mode. So yeah. Tell me what you guys think of him down in the comments below. And tell me, which character would you like me to review first out of Cyclonus or Motormaster? Yeah, so don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And hit that notification bell as well, because it really helps me with my videos. That's all. Fire Storm out.